The first decision you make when you log into Escape from Tarkov on a fresh wipe is whether you want to be Bear or Yusek, but the game doesn't really tell you the differences between these or that which one you pick could drastically change your experience on one of the maps, so let's break it down. I want to take a quick second and thank Outplayed for sponsoring this video. Outplayed is the best way to record, organize, edit, and share your best gameplay moments. You can manually record clips, record entire sessions, or in certain games it actually can be automatically triggered by certain events like headshots or a kill. There are over 300 supported games, as you can see here, I just type in Escape from Tarkov and then there we go. And then I can set up the quality of the recording and the keybinds on how I want to set it up for me. Once you have your highlights, you can edit them all right there in the app and then share them with all your friends. I say all the time that one of the best ways to get better at Escape from Tarkov Tarkov, or really any game, is to give yourself the opportunity to watch your own gameplay back and learn from it, and that couldn't be any easier than with Outplayed. You can download Outplayed for free using the link below or in the pinned comment. Thank you again so much to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. Before we hop in, I do just want to say, if you're checking out this video, you're probably pretty new to Escape from Tarkov, and if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is a really awesome place to be. It's a great place for new information about the game. We have looking for group channels. We have like 18,000 members in there. That link is down below if you want to hop in the Discord. With all that being said, let's get back to the differences between bears and Usex. So ultimately, in my opinion, it mostly comes down to preference. Most of the differences between them are pretty much just cosmetic. The Bear and the Yusek do have slightly different starting gear. Uh, obviously, the Yusek will start with more of Western gear, so M4s, 556 MDRs, maybe some MP5s. And the Bear, since they're the Russian faction, will start with more of the Russian guns like AKs, RPKs, or PP19s, or something like that. In my opinion, the starting gear is definitely not enough of a reason to pick a faction for the entire wipe. None of the guns on either side are really that good without modifications, and you die so much in Escape from Tarkov, especially early wipe, that the starting gear kind of becomes irrelevant just like maybe a day or two into the wipe. So that's not a big enough reason for me to pick, but you do start with slightly different gear. The next difference is going to be the language that you speak. So Escape from Tarkov actually has a really deep and complex kind of comm wheel of voice lines that you can use in raid if you double tap y you see the entire comm wheel pull up if you tap f1 you do like a mumble if you double tap f1 you do kind of like a yell or a scream the usec faction is going to speak english and the bears are going to speak russian now when you create a character you can choose between some different faces and you can choose between some different voices recently they've added a few of the voices that are basically english with a russian accent or like broken english so you do have access to those but as far as the voice lines go it basically comes down do you want to speak in english or russian with the addition of voip to escape from tarkov these voice lines aren't really utilize nearly as much so once again it's kind of up to you it's not that big of a deal the next and the biggest difference between them is just the clothes that you're wearing it's a largely a cosmetic difference bear or usec recently they've been adding new tactical gear tops and bottoms every single wipe i'm hoping they add some this wipe but the clothes that you wear are going to be different and so really which one do you like better you can go to the Escape from Tarkov wiki and basically look at what all the tops and all the bottoms for Yusek and Bear look like. Both sides have some really cool looking stuff, some really tactical stuff. There's a lot of opinions about which faction has the better drip, but that's one of the biggest differences. Like I said, you can take a look at what we currently have. We'll probably get some new stuff with the wipe that we're not going to be able to see until we actually get in and you've already selected your faction, but the clothes are one of the biggest differences between them. Now, the only actual gameplay related difference between the bear and the USEC is what your experience is going to be like on the map Lighthouse. So on Lighthouse, there's a faction of AI that only spawn on Lighthouse and they are called the Rogues. The Rogues are a faction of ex usex that kind of defected, formed their own little community in the water treatment plant on Lighthouse, they will be a little bit more sympathetic towards USEX. They will allow a USEX to basically walk up to the camp, sometimes walk even inside the camp without them really aggroing onto that USEX. Obviously, if you as a USEX go and shoot at them and engage with them, they are going to shoot back at you, but they are going to let you get a little bit closer. Bears, on the other hand, it's shoot on sight and their vision is pretty far. So they can see you and they can shoot at you with these big mounted grenade launchers or mounted machine guns, and they can beam you from pretty far away. Now, there is a feature in the game where the rogues remember if a USEC has aggroed them. So at least at the time of this recording, it's three raids. So if you aggro the rogues, whether you survive or whether you die, for the next few raids, the rogues will remember that you betrayed them and they will treat you just like they treat a bear. And so you kind of have to play a few lighthouse raids before they're going to then be kind of sympathetic to you again. This to me effectively completely negates that difference because 
so much of why you're going to Lighthouse is either to kill rogues for a quest, to get a quest item inside and they're not going to let you get super far inside, so you're going to have to kill them eventually, or to go actually farm the rogues and kill them so you can get a bunch of loot because they have some really good loot. So in my opinion, very few people are going to be playing Lighthouse consistently as a USEC, getting close enough to the water treatment plant, but not trying to go into the water treatment plant to really see a difference. Ultimately, what we all end up doing is killing the rogues. And then at that point, as long as you continue to kill the rogues, the rogues just treat you like a bear. There have been bugs in the past where that remembering mechanic wasn't really working. So every single time you went in as a USEC, they were kind of chill with you, but that has been fixed. So in my opinion, that's not even that much of a gameplay difference because it only takes you shooting at them one time to kind of start that spiral anyway. Now, there have been conversations in the past from Nikita about adding additional factions to other maps like streets that are basically just the reverse of that, where they're more chill with bears and they're super aggro to USEX. I do not expect this to be coming this wipe or really anytime soon. So once again, don't pick your faction completely as a result of that. But that is the differences between the bear and the USEC. Basically, just cosmetic, just preference. Go with whichever one you like, and it's not that big of a deal. But but I hope this video clarified all the differences between them and then kind of set you up to go check out some of the cosmetics and pick whichever one you like better. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. If you like it, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch seven days a week. All my links will be down below. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. Check that link down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.